In this tutorial video, you will learn how to add a calendar to your SharePoint site, as well as how to add events to that calendar and how to access different calendar views. SharePoint calendars are the best way to keep track of events, meetings, and other types of appointments. To add a calendar, first click on the site settings gear of your site and scroll down to add an app. Next, scroll down to calendar. Click on calendar. I'm going to name the calendar Team Calendar. Click Create. Here in your site contents, you will see Team Calendar has been added. Click on your calendar. Next, let's try to add some events to our calendar. There are two ways of adding a new event. First, you can click on the Events tab, and then click New Event. Or, you can simply click on the calendar itself and select Add. Let's add something on the 9th of December. In the Properties window of your new event, you will be asked to give some details. Let's give the title of this event, Christmas Lunch. Let's add a location and a start and end time. You can also add a description. SharePoint also offers default categories to define the event. You can choose one of these categories, or you can create your own category. For the purpose of this exercise, let's choose one of the existing categories. Now to save our changes, let's click Save. You will see that the Christmas lunch has been added to our calendar. Now let's look at adding a reoccurring event. Let's click New Event. Let's add our team meeting. Let's say our team meetings are on Wednesdays. Choose the first Wednesday and change the time of your meeting. Let's choose the category meeting. Since this meeting occurs every week, let's make this a repeating event. Let's change this occurrence to weekly. And you'll see that Wednesday is already selected. We're not going to have an end date since we are having these meetings every week. Click Save. Our team meeting now occurs every Wednesday. You can also edit these events at any time. For example, let's go in and change the location for our meeting. Ensure that the Events tab is open and select the event you would like to edit. Click Edit Event. Let's say the location of our meeting has changed. Let's change it to AOB 318. No other changes are necessary, so let's click Save. You will see that this has only changed the meeting on the 10th, but not any future meetings. For example, if you click on the 17th, there is still no location defined for that team meeting. If the rune change was to occur for all future meetings, you must edit the entire series of events. To do so, first double-click the event. Next, click Edit Series. Let's change the room number and click Save you will get a message indicating that this is changing the entire series of events. Let's click OK. We have now applied the room change to all of our meetings. You will notice that the calendar is currently in a monthly view. Just as with other lists, when you create a calendar, SharePoint offers some different views of the list data. If you would rather see an existing calendar in a different view, you can simply choose a view from the Scope section of the Calendar tab on the ribbon. Let's change the view from the month view to the week view. Or say you wanted to just look at your day. Click Day. If you find that these standard views don't show the data in the format that you prefer, you can create your own view. To learn how to do this, please view the tutorials on the Corporate Internet YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.